Good afternoon. Hi. Do you have thermometers there? Yeah, we certainly do. Yes, I need some. Do you have large ones? Whatever you need, we have. Some that don't break so easy? Of course. I broke one. Oh, I did break one. That's what the problem is. Everything looks legit. Still have the network card hooked up. If I hit settings, it'll go and it'll calculate. And now you can see it did come up with however many photos, so that's all good. We'll click OK, and then we'll click preview, right? And then it comes up. Now, because it's old and slow and whatever, it has to, like, enumerate all the files again. So you wait. And you wait. <laughs> okay, I fucking give up. I tried this shit for two days, <laughs> and it didn't fucking work. I thought because I installed some software or some crap, I don't know, it just, it fucked up. I did everything I just showed you here, and now it magically works. So, that's good. I don't have to pester with this crap now. But I still do have another problem. I hate when shit doesn't work out the way it's supposed to. Oh, that was a while ago. That was 2009. Alright, well, let's wake it up. Okay. And we'll hit preview again. And I'll just stop recording for a moment. The light is still blinking. And it's doing what it's supposed to. And any year now, if it works again, I'll then leave it and see if after two minutes it goes by itself which is really more like three and a half minutes until it actually gets itself going. Should be like any time now. Yep, it worked again. It's loading the first picture. And there you go. So that worked again. So now we'll leave it. We'll click OK and we'll wait two minutes. Without warning, we have a pointer with an hourglass. A little light is blinking, and in another minute and a half, it'll start the slideshow. And it starts up all by itself. Okay, next step is to reboot. So, I'll just power it off and back on. Because when you change it to restart, the next time it'll say restart, and then whatever. So we'll power it off, and power it back on. And we're booted back up. So now we'll leave it. It says 4.57 p.m. So probably around 5 or 5.01 just to be safe. It should, with any luck, be displaying pictures. The light's blinking. That's a good sign. Now it's fucked up. Now it's doing what it's doing, where it'll just blink the screen and come right back. It's not waking up because of the mouse. I've already checked for that. The light is blinking because it wants to go try it again. Let's give it one more shot, just hitting the um, the preview. I'm not going to bother with the settings again. There's no point in wasting the time. We'll hit that. And uh, it just kind of came back at me. And came back at me. And came back at me. And came back at me. So now we'll go to settings. Now we'll let it search. Okay. It just decided to sort of wig out while it's searching. It's still blinkety. So I don't know yet. Okay, now we found the pictures. We'll click OK. We'll click Preview. It's doing the blinky light. It just came back here. Good! So now we have finally duplicated the issue. Alright, well there's no system restore in Windows 98, so I kind of can't fix that. I've already tried uninstalling and reinstalling the screensaver, but it's just an SER file. Other thing is, you notice this blank, which goes away. Sometimes it'll say screensaver there, other times it won't. 
So uh, basically what happened was I was trying to install some other software on here. Something went awry and it said, I don't like that kind or I don't know what the deal was and whatever. And it, it came back and it, it, it doesn't like that kind anymore. Well. Fortunately, I keep my feathers numbered for, for just such an emergency thing is a royal pain to try to install an operating system. It doesn't know about booting off of a CD-ROM. So if I wanted to do this the right way, I would have to take out the CD-ROM drive, swap in a floppy drive from another ThinkPad that I have, which I do know fits, use a Windows 98 startup disk, I would have to F-disk and then format the hard drive, copy the system files to that, copy all the crap on the floppy to that, shut it down, reinstall the CD-ROM drive, then boot it up off of that, so it'll then see this drive, and then start the Windows 98 installation. Something I don't want to do. So that's where this comes in, an external hard drive. 250 gig, and I have images for all kinds of stuff on here, including this thing from when it was done and it was working, or at least I believe it was working. I don't know that for sure. So first step is to unplug it, and now we have to open it up. And you gotta play around with the little things here and then it'll pop up. Keyboard just lifts right up. No tools required. Doesn't wanna stay up all the way, but all right. And here's the hard drive. So we're gonna take this out, pull up, now where are you going to find a connector like that? Well, not to worry. Here's the hard drive, in case anybody's interested in taking a look. It's from IBM, or at least that's what the label says. 810 megabytes. Yes, a whole big 810 megabytes. Now how does this thing open? God, I used to know. I really did. Um, there's some stickers that need to come off. That part I know. Uh, I forget if this can just shimmy off of there. Yeah, it can. I don't know if that's really a wise idea. I think you got to peel back this sticker. And there's two screws. So we'll take those two screws out. They might be captive, they might not, I don't remember, it's been way too long. They're loose. Okay, so now these little nuts come out, or at least one did, and the other one did, and the bracket fell off, and then I'm supposed to be able to know how to put this thing back together or some crap, and the screws are still in there. <laughs> so. Basically, this, this is an enclosure, and it does come apart, and uh, I'm going to pick at it and play with it, and maybe cut stickers in places they shouldn't be cut. Maybe just some little prying will get it apart, and uh, we'll see where that brings us. I think the top cover, yeah, there we go. Look at that already. I think because I sliced the label here. So that comes up a bit, but the other side is a little stuck. So I'm going to play around with this rather than bore you for a few hours. Um, nothing to do down here yet, so we'll just wait on that. Some judicious prying later, and that comes out. And then, as long as that sticker is peeled off, we can remove this thing. It's got its two screws in there, so you got to watch for that. This thing fell out of it. That just covers over the drive. And without losing the screws, which are somewhere around, one's the, around here somewhere in the other piece, very carefully that removes to leave you with an IDE hard drive. That's right, this funky connector is just plain old IDE. So let me get everything straightened out here and we'll get going.